NBA player Chris Bosh is facing charges after allegedly exploiting a disabled person. This started on December 8th when DeSoto police raided a gated community home on St. George Place for suspected drug activity. Chris Bosch owns the home but was not there. His mother, Frida, was. She lived there along with Jonathan Brown and a disabled person. After the raid, police discovered Frida and Brown took a large portion of that person's monthly disability check. A police affidavit also states that the victim was intimidated by Brown and forced to help him distribute drugs. Police say Frida allowed this to go on so she could get free drugs, including marijuana. Frida and Brown are charged with a third-degree felony, exploitation of a disabled person. Frida bonded out of jail. Brown is still in custody. Matt Uris for CBS 11 News. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now, this video right here is about Chris Bosch, and you might know him from the Toronto Raptors, even though he looked like a Raptor at one time. And you also might know him for playing with the Miami Heat with Dwayne Wade and uh, LeBron King James, if you will. And I think they won a championship or two. Maybe you can let me know in the comment section. I thought it was one, maybe it's two. But anyway, his mom is in the news. Out of all people, his mom, not him. His mom is in the news for all the wrong reasons. She's been charged with allegedly uh, holding a disabled person hostage while she used them for money and for the uh, disability check that uh, disabled people get every month. And also for drug trafficking charges where you have police is basically raided her house. I guess the feds, the DEA raided the house and they found uh, plastic bags and they found all kinds of drug paraphernalia, if you will. So I'm going to read a snippet from this story and I'll give my opinion. Sure, let's we go. Frida Bosch, 58 years old, has been charged with exploiting a disabled person. It follows a raid where police say they found evidence of drug trafficking. Police say the, the disabled man was forced into delivering drugs for roommates. Now, how did they force a disabled person to deliver drugs? Was he in a wheelchair? Uh, I don't know because that might be a hard task right there. And I'm, that's probably the one that uh, dropped that dime on him, if you will. He probably got tired of all that. Now... They allege that Frida Bosch let it continue in exchange for free narcotics. And anybody in their right mind might say, and I respect people's moms, but we got to call a spade a spade. We got to call a duck a duck. If it's quack, it's a duck. It ain't a goose. You feel me? Now, if, well, let me, let me put out this, this way first. For those of you who know what a crackhead look like, a dope fiend, you a base head, but whatever y'all want to say, a junkie, let's keep it real. Don't his mom look just like one? Come on. Only way you get that Muppet mouth with the Muppet babies, you know they mouth be all like that. Only way you get that little mouth right there with them little scratch marks, them wrinkles right there, if you do drugs. You know, you're not going to get it nowhere else. That come from uh, sucking on that glass pipe, if you will, smoking them rocks, that uh, that uh, white girl, if you will. You feel me? I ain't talking about Britney Spears. So, anybody want to say that... Uh, you're bashing his mom, I'm not. I'm just telling the truth. Because you can look at this woman and tell she has a drug problem. And also, understand this. What what son is not going to uh, take care of their mom or be there for their mom? It's reasons why that he is estranged from his mom. Now, true enough, that, that shouldn't stop you from doing things for your mom. But what's the use of doing something for your mama if she's just going to go out there and spend it all on drugs? Because evidently, this is what got her in the shape that she's in anyway. Think about it. So, let's get that straight from the jump. Now, it also believes... Demand was made to complete household chores and pay large portions of his disability check to her in rent at the DeSoto home. So not only was she uh, was she lazy, but it's alleged also that he's around there cleaning up and everything else like he misses Doubtfire. I don't know what the hell is going on, but if this is all true, shame on her. And it's a shame that she would bring this uh, this 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 uh, bad uh, rep to her son. You know, even though the son don't have nothing to do with it, but still though. When you, when you hear about his mom, you automatically think about the son or the daughter, too, or whoever else. And it's, it's very sad. I know he's very embarrassed by that. But you know what? You know, that's, that's his mom. And you can't, you can't stop people from doing what they want to do. All you can do is just love them from a distance and pray for them and keep going. Now, the mom of former Miami star Chris Bosch has been charged with the exploitation of a disabled person. Police raided the property in DeSoto, Texas, which belongs to Chris Bosch earlier this month on suspicion of drug distribution. They say they found drug paraphernalia on the property and made allegations of cocaine and heroin trafficking from the home. So how did they get all this information for us? Uh, what's going in and out this house? You feel me? Evidently, somebody is snitching. And you can best believe somebody is snitching because if they know all this and they got a warrant and they ran up in there, trust me, they done sent somebody there to buy something and they came out with it. So that that's that's enough uh, you know, probable cause to go up in there. But like I say, though, and then... Uh, 
the son, I mean, not the son, I think that was her nephew or her other son, but it, it showed a video of her and the other guy looked just like Chris, so I'm thinking that that's his uh, brother or something. And pretty much she was saying that she's innocent, but you can look and tell she got crackhead written all over her because the guy sitting on, sitting on the side talking about where they found plastic bags and stuff, uh, sandwich bags. We all know what them sandwich bags are for, but now I ain't finna sit up here and snitch my damn self now. But uh, we know what them damn sandwich bags uh, be for, you know, and this damn show ain't not for no cold cuts and pastrami, if you will. Now... According to a warrant, Frida Bosch, 58, and previous tenant Jonathan Brown were using a disabled man who also resided in the property for monetary profit, personal benefit, and gain, reports WFAA. She was charged on Tuesday. It is alleged in the warrant that the disabled man, who has not been named, was delivering drugs for Brown and was fearful of what could happen if he chose not to. Police also claim that Bosch let the exploitation continue so that Brown would allow her access to free drugs. And she's swearing up to God on TMZ that she don't do no damn drug product. Talking about she smoke a little weed. That, that's some weed laced with some damn crack right there. Just go and spit the whole thing out. You know, if you around here smoking rocks and stuff, just go on a minute. You a grown ass woman. Own that shit. You feel me? Because if that's how you get down, that's how you get down. But, you know, you're wrong, number one doing what you're doing and then bringing this negative publicity to your son and also um allegedly using this disabled person just to get by you feel me because what uh crackhead do you know that's functional you know because if you're a heavy dope user and you're using these hard drugs how can you function explain that in the comment section if you can now they also say that bosch insisted insisted that the man who has ptsd and depression pay a large amount of his disability allowance to her for rent for both himself and brown which means just take care of them just a free ride now whoever this guy is he he must be uh mentally challenged or some or mentally retarded if you will because only a person who ain't right in the head you know it might be something wrong with your legs your hand or your feet or your back and you in a wheelchair but your mind still work you know what i'm saying it might be something wrong with your body but your mind still work so evidently this guy has some uh, other disabilities if you will that they're not really disclosing at this time because i don't see nobody doing all this delivering drugs cleaning up the house paying paying stuff out of his check and it just it's just everything's around that honky door i don't understand that right there now it is also claimed the man was obligated to complete the household chores. The rift between Chris, Chris Bosch, 33 years old, and his mom became apparent when he tried to have her evicted from the property. That's a red flag right there. Number one, you ought to ask yourself, why would Chris want his mom evicted from the property? You know why? Because she in there running the damn dope house. You know what I'm saying? She running a trap house like she Gucci Mane and T.I. back in the day. You feel me? Now, Speaking of TMZ, after the initial drug rape, his mom said she was being forced out of the home they built together. Oh, we can build a lot of stuff together. But that don't mean that I'm going to sit up here and let, and let you get me caught up with you. you. You feel what I'm saying? That ain't got nothing to do with anything we built it together because it was built off his money and his talent, number one. So she said, this is a home that my son and I built together 12 years ago. Chris is evicting me as we speak. In the same interview, she denied the allegations of drug trafficking. The a the af <clears throat> excuse me, the athlete has kept silent about his reasons for trying to evict his mom and won his case for his mom's eviction in October. So he already went through the court process, proceedings, and everything to have her ass thrown out, which rightfully he should, even though that's his mom. Look, mom, I love you, but this dope got you, and we all know. You know, for, be, before you all say, but Trey, uh, how can you sound so heartless toward the mom? Think about this right here, um. Uh, have you ever had somebody on drugs before? Have you ever had somebody you really love that's strung out on drugs? They don't give a damn about you. Them, them drugs replace you. Them drugs replace any love, any sympathy, emotion that they had for you. It goes into that drug. So you can't look at them like they're the same person because they're not. Even though the shell on the outside the same, the inside, the, the mentally, they're not the same no more. Their person is gone. And they may come back, but it take a long uh process steps to rehabilitation to bring that person back and they still won't be a hundred percent so that's why i'm saying this and he's doing right by protecting his ass because one one uh person can bring a whole damn crew down and that's pretty much what she's doing right now you feel me so it's good that he's stepping in and doing the necessary uh legal paperwork to make sure that he's in the clear and um uh, it says however bosh appealed the decision and won the house worth three hundred thirty thousand was purchased in two thousand four by Chris. Chris also filed to revoke his mom's 
power of eternity, which gave her the ability to purchase homes and cars on behalf of the star with who is worth millions. And that's a good thing. Here you have a son who's so blessed and, and that people, when they get money, it's like they don't know what to do with it. And I don't believe that his mom just now started developing a drug problem. I believe she always had a drug problem because I don't understand how a woman can be 58 years old, going on 59, and you still up here doing crackhead stuff that low-level, street-level people would do, regardless of color. You feel me? So I don't understand that. So it's like when she came into all this money and she's not doing nothing anyway, old habits die hard they they don't they don't die too quick if you know what i mean and this is a habit that she probably had the whole time most likely so i don't see her being million being uh worth millions along with her son you know and at the same time falling into drugs but let me know what you all think about this if you like the video push that like button if you like subscribe to next time y'all stay blessed and if you got some dope head uh parents friends or whatever love them from a distance feed them with a, a long handle spoon what we call it to next time i'm out